do you know where your child is on their IEP goals? I mean, like really know where your child is on their IEP goals. For example, if a goal is that your child will be able to identify all 26 letters of the alphabet, are they identifying five? Are they identifying 15? Where are they? I'm Frances Schefter with Schefter Law PA, where we help families have a stress-free IEP experience. By law, the schools are supposed to tell you at least four times a year, not a school year, not a calendar year, an IEP year of how your child is progressing on the IEP goals. I've seen this in so many different ways. Progressing, not introduced yet. What does that mean? We start with the present levels on an IEP to say where your child is. From there is where we're supposed to develop the goals. So you know your starting point and then you know where the end point is. You should be told four times a year how your child is doing and where your child is. And it should be specific. Most schools don't do this, unfortunately. And you have a right to go and say, where is my child? You can look at the IEP goals. All IEP goals have how the data is going to be collected. And ask the school, where's the data? It says informal observations. Where's the observation notes? It says teachers made checklist. Where's the teacher's checklist? If you're not monitoring how your child is progressing on the IEP goals and making sure that the school's monitoring, how do you know if the goals are working? How do you know if the goal if the goals are appropriate or even potentially if the placement is appropriate? These are the little steps that seem like not very important, but they're so important to get your child from where your child is now to where you want your child to be at the end of the IEP year, at the end of you know, elementary school, middle school, high school, into adulthood. So if you're not measuring each little step and you don't understand each little step, ask the school, find out, figure out where your child is. It is so important. And if your child's not progressing or you're not sure where the goals are, Feel free to subscribe to my channel, look at my back videos on what a baseline is and what it should be. So you can also set up your IEP to be the right way so that the goals are measurable. I'm Frances Schefter with Schefter Law PA, where we help families have a stress-free IEP experience.